Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Illusions Football. Eight box, inner case, pick your team, number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, second half of this master case we're about to pop open is available on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now. A very big thank you to all of these folks who picked up their... Why are the fonts all weird on the... Oh, someone else must have put in those orders. I can't have that, folks. That's unacceptable. Sorry, trees. All right, so while that's printing out, pick your team seven. Let's pop this case open and let's see which inner case we're going to do. So once again, there it is. Pick your team seven. Illusions football. There's everybody who picked their teams. Thank you very much. Bill, last spot mojo, Seattle Seahawks. I think he's watching with his dogs. Hi, pups. One, two, three for the left inner. Four, five, six for the right inner. We'll use that one right there. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this we will save for pick your team eight. And this one will do for pick your team seven. Now, nothing else is sold out at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get something else going after this. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com if you're watching live. This should take us about 30, 40 minutes to complete. Good luck, boys and girls. Good luck. There's one encased card per box as well, which is nice. AL wild card game going on right here. All right, here we go. Pick your team seven. Good luck, everybody. We're going to start off with clear shots to 399, Landon Collins. So all these numbered cards we're going to set aside, and our, we'll have our shipping and sorting team sleeve and top load those before they get sorted and shipped out to you. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by those. Same with these. We'll top load these a little bit later. Will Greer goes to Ryan Owens and the Panthers. Deontay Johnson to 25. That will be for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers at a 299. 
Andre Reed for the Bills. Buffalo. And Daniel Jones. Instant impact. He has made an instant impact. That goes to Matt Johnston and the New York Football Giants. All right, next bit here. TJ Hawkinson to 399. Dak Prescott, 399. Leighton Van Der Esch, Hunter Renfro to 399 for my Raiders. Who's got my Raiders in this one? Michael Gallucci has my Raiders in this one. Jersey and autograph, Daryl Henderson, 51 out of 299. And that will be for Daniel F. and the Ramley. Nick Chubb to 299. Zach Thomas, living legends to 149. And another autograph. That's Travis Homer for the Seattle Seahawks. 154 out of 199, last spot mojo. Bill. Saquon, four out of seven. He's running around. I don't think he's going to play this week, but he's going to be running Tiki Barber in the background. Also for the Giants. All right, and your encased card is going to be upside down. It's going to be A.J. Brown, Titans, 96 out of 150. It's got a nice autograph, too. And that is for Michael Gallucci and the Titans. He's having kind of a decent season, I feel like, to start off. Yeah, let's put these encased cards... All right. I know it's a football break, but at this moment, 6.09 on the West Coast. Rays up 4 nothing on the A's, but it's still just the top of the third. Still pretty early in this game. I also feel like this game is moving a lot more slowly than the NL wildcard game last night. All right, Mystique, DeAndre Hopkins to 399. Got Miles Sanders jersey, instant impact for the Eagles. Daniel with the Eagles, not numbered. Got Bob Lilly, Living Legends, Roquan Smith to 299. T.Y. Hilton, astounding to 149. I think our first London game is this week, right? The Raiders and Bears facing each other. Juju Smith Schuster, highlight relic. For Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. I think they're playing in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the brand new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which apparently is amazing. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes, 399. Um, out of 50, Living Legends Warren Sapp. David Johnson, Nick Chubb to 99. Sony Michelle and Jersey Auto, five out of five. Fred Taylor, you guys remember Fred Taylor? Two color patch and autograph. Wow. Jim Morin with the Jacksonville Jaguars.
Five. If it wasn't for Fred Taylor's knee, he had a lot of knee issues there. If it wasn't for his knees, I feel like he would have been a pretty great running back. Hall, I mean, I don't know about Hall of Fame, but he would have been a pretty great running back. Jim Morin, Jaguars. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Seal Curtain, Joe, what is your position on the Burfick suspension? Oh. I mean, Raiders knew the risks, right? When uh, Raiders knew the risks when uh, they signed Antonio, you know, and Burfick. Antonio didn't work out. I thought Burfick would be a little different. I wasn't surprised about Antonio. I thought Burfick would be would have been a little bit different. There's Billy White Shoes Johnson. Peyton's, Peyton's Places on ESPN Plus has a great little segment with Billy White Shoes Johnson. It's pretty cool. Uh, that goes to Michael Gallucci and the Titans. There's Andrew Luck to 50. But I don't know if... I don't know. That seemed like kind of like a bang bang play. However, I think, I think uh, Burfecht is getting suspended because of his, I guess, him like kiss blowing kisses and waving to the crowd. I don't think that helped. You know what I mean? Because that shows that he didn't care. I think if he didn't do that, maybe the suspension might have been a little bit shorter. But I don't know. I think the NFL just had enough. They're just like enough of this, Vontes. Great player, but he's got to play by the rules. Rules are different now. TJ Hawkinson to 150, rookie endorsement autograph. That goes to the Lions. That's going to be for Ryan Owens. But disappointing. I think linebacker is definitely a, uh, a sort of a, a – on a weak Raiders defense, one of the weaker points – and I was hoping that, and he did. He was shoring it up. He's a good player, but he's got to play by the rules. But the pass violations, and I think, what do you expect? Yeah, and then the the sort of flouting, flaunting of of, of the of the expulsion from the game. I don't think that helped. I mean, I'm sure the NFLPA wants to appeal that. He may get some games shaved off, but. I think the league just doesn't want to see that anymore. I think that particular hit didn't seem as bad as I, I, I think, you know. So, because I think Doyle was kind of caught the pass and was sort of getting up to make a foot. But then again, you can just touch the guy and he's down. You know, you didn't have to go and hit him. You know, there's plenty of other players in the league who who know how to do it. I mean, you can't pile drive QBs anymore. So what does Khalil Mack do? Strip sack now. You know, like you got to adjust. And I don't think showboating is frowned upon in the NFL, right? Actually, at least not anymore. But um, I think with Vontae's perfect situation, the fact that he's just kind of not having respect for the rules... And him being suspended for the same thing over and over again, I think that's what the NFL is sort of knocking as a multiple offender. There's Kenyon Drake, 75. And we've got Trace McSorley for the Ravens. 18 out of 125. That's going to be for Jim Morin and the Purple Birds. But yeah, I mean, but from a team perspective, kind of bummed because Raiders are without their their safety, Jonathan Abram, who was looking like he was going to have a pretty decent season. Now they're, they're without Vontaze. They don't have Antonio Brown, obviously. So they've got a lot of key pieces missing. Nice Isaac Bruce jersey and autograph. Five out of 40 for Daniel and the Rams. Are they trying to fix the Antonio Brown suit by making it? No. 
I don't think they're trying to make an example of Vontae's bird. That's a complete. Those two are completely different situations. Like there's nothing for the. There's nothing for. There's nothing to fix with the Antonio Brown situation. Like he fixed himself. The the teams themselves fixed him. He's out of the league. <laughs> Four out of ten. Will Greer for uh, the Panthers. Yeah, there's nothing to fix with the Antonio Brown situation. Fletcher Cox to 299. There's Mike Ditka to 149. We got Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, Antonio's cousin for the Purple Birds, Jim Morin. Amari Cooper to 399. Johnny O saying, had a friend from Germany attend the Packers Broncos game a few weeks ago, and the thing he took from the game is that he was so taken aback that fans of each team are intermingled. Yes, European soccer fans will probably be shocked by that. In Europe, I mean, there's so much violence due to fandom. Like, the, like say, here's the stadium. They'll put them in, like, the corner of the stadium, and then there's security on each aisle right there, just so there's no... Yeah. They're shining stars, Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. That's going to be for Ryan Owens, 3 out of 10. Nice break for Ryan. Nice run, CMC. And the next box. But yeah, there, there are times where the violence between fans and soccer matches around Europe gets so violent that a lot of, like, There'll be there'll be matches sometimes where they play them in um, where they play them in empty stadiums. Steve Olson, yeah, I was surprised not to see your name there. I thought you'd be Johnny on the spot on that. I don't think the Panthers were picked up until late either. Where were you, Steve Olson? Steven, you can't be like, really, Ryan? I thought, I thought I'd see your name right there. I was shocked to see Ryan Owens down there. Could be a Panthers hot case. Are they still available in eight? No, it's all good, Steve Wilson. I'm just teasing. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of football stuff to get into for the next like six months, so feel free to sit some out. Save up for the rest. Out of 149, Miles Garrett, Browns. There, there's one bright spot of my Raiders season. Josh Jacobs. Raiders. Although they they won they beat the Colts last week. Which I kinda I didn't expect. I thought they would. Uh, I thought they would cover, but not win outright. I don't know. There's no Trubisky. We just flashed by Trubisky. There's no Trubisky for the Bears. Maybe the Raiders surprise the Bears a little bit in London. Maybe not. There's Drew Locke. There's John Elway. Both Broncos. That'll be for Jim and the Broncos. I know we need we need to get some Packers for Johnny O too. Cole Beasley to 299. Joe Mixon to 299. James Conner. Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, Steel Curtain, if you're still here. What's the what's the story with uh, with Jalen Samuels? How is he gonna be continued to be deployed in future games? I hope none of my fantasy league is listening. Uh, Hunter Renfro to 299, 49 out of 299. That goes to Seal Curtain and my Raiders. I don't know. We saw Jalen Samuels a little wildcat action here. You know, it looks like Mike Tomlin digging into the old uh, creative part of the playbook. No Big Ben, so he's got to 
Try some interesting things. There's Bryce Love to 399. There's out of 299. Leighton Vander Esch. And there's Penny Hart. For the Colts, 33 or 38 out of 199. Jay Sam will be used just like we saw on Monday night going forward. I see. All right, I need like a running back, an RB2 slash flex spot. My fantasy season not going well. Rams are not using Todd. That's not Todd Gurley, but Rams are not using Todd Gurley as much as they should. I think they're saving it for later in the season. I thought I could play Malcolm Brown in my running back two spot, but they're not using him as often. So I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try to snag someone off waivers. There's not a lot there, but Jalen Samuel is out there. All right, so maybe, maybe I'll increase my free agent acquisition budget on him and try to snag him. We've got Justice Hill. Justice being served to the Purple Birds. 98 out of 99. That will be for Jim Morin and the Ravens. We're halfway through this break, folks. About another 20 minutes to go. And then we'll be ready for the next break. I do see a handful of orders coming in. So thanks, Jacqueline, Levi, Trevor, Bradley, Chad B. We'll go through some orders and then we'll see what break we'll get into after this. I think we should be ready. By the time I finish this and put this away and go through orders, we should be ready for the next break at around 7 o'clock LA time, 10 o'clock East Coast time. Well, a quarter of the NFL season is now over, ladies and gentlemen. Who, uh, are we have any, have any thoughts? Does anyone have any thoughts on the season? Any surprising teams? Not surprising teams? They are who we thought they were teams? I didn't think the Dolphins would be this bad. I, th I thought they'd be bad, but you know what their point differential is? Is... They've scored 26 points, and they've had 163 points scored against them. That is a differential of minus 137. That's, that's crazy. There's Andrew Luck to 299. There's Michael Hardman who got me negative points in fantasy last week. My fantasy season, terrible. Chiefs, that'll be for Chris Hansen. Andrew saying Rams offense doesn't work in Cincy. Out of 299, Melvin Gordon. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, I see what you're saying, Andrew. They, they've got like a Sean McVay protege, right? They're, I don't know. It seems a little early for Sean McVay to have like a coaching tree, right? There's Christian McCaffrey relic not numbered for Ryan. Except for Matt LaFleur, I guess, for the for Johnny O's Packers. There's Amari Cooper who are three and one and he's surprised at the way they're playing. There's Juju. To three ninety nine. Um I don't know. I think those coaches will need some time. You know, I think too many organizations in pro sports, too much of a knee-jerk reaction. If season one just doesn't work out, they're they're bailing. I don't know if they should do that. That's not a good pattern, especially in football. I feel like you need a coach to kind of get a team and marinate it for like a couple seasons or so before you can really say, hey, this is what the team is. Go through a few draft cycles. There's Andy Isabella, jersey and auto to 25 for Marco. Michael Hardman to 299. Carry on my wayward son to 299. There's Neil Anderson, Elusive Inc. for the Bears. 
16 out of 18 out of 50. Sergio with Da Bears. There's Darius Geist to 399. Packers defense, I think, is legit, Johnny O. I feel like the offense is still kind of figuring things out. You know, new coach, new staff, and all that sort of stuff. That's to be expected. But once, but the defense looks legit. Once that offense starts clicking, there's Noah Fant, rookie endorsement autograph, 22 out of 99, Oppo Joe Mojo, going to Jim Morin and the Denver Broncos. Three boxes to go. I think where's Green Bay playing this week? Are they in Dallas? At Dallas. That's that's the late game on Sunday, just before the night game. Um, well, there's the classic Packers on the road situation. This is this should be a big test for Green Bay. Dallas has a solid defense too. <laughs> Excuse me. They're coming off a loss in uh, St. Louis, in, in Nolens. So they're going back home. So you know they want to put on a good performance. So that's, that, should be a, that should be an important test for Green Bay. First London game. Raiders. Bears Raiders in London. Tampa Bay is in New Orleans. Let's see if they're for real. Tampa Bay put up a 50 spot on the Rams. So let's see if they, if that's for real or if that was just the Rams failures. They're going they're going to be in New Orleans and the Saints have a really good defense too. Andrew wants to get some Spectra going after this. So does Zeno. Well, I'm looking at the webpage right now. Spectra is down to seven with four spots left in a number block. That's it. Pretty close there. Illusions eight. We can run back, Chad. Chad Schaefer wants to do Illusions eight. That's right. Five teams left there. So we can start adding that to the schedule, ladies and gentlemen, because we don't have anything after this. There's DeAndre Hopkins to 75. We got Heinz Ward to 299. There's a Baker Mayfield jersey for the Browns. Oh, you have a personal box too, Trevor? What did, what did you get? Oh, you got all six packs in draft baseball number four. Well, so, oh, someone must have filled up draft three as well. So we're going to do that first. Oh, Nick already posted the next one. Dang it. I hate when that happens. Um, it's too fast. All right. Um, I get confused here. All right, so I'll go through some orders, but... Oh, Black Diamond is gone too? Oh, let me get that before Nick posts the next one. All right, got it. All right, what else is sold out, ladies and gentlemen? Anything else sold out? I think, at a glance, I think that's it. All right, so I'll go through orders and we'll see which one's going to go first. There's Baker Mayfield for Daniel, not numbered. Sean Watson, Renfro to 399, Gurley to 149, Marlon Mack to 299, and a redemption, and it's going to be Ryan Finley and Will Greer, two QBs, dual patch autographs, Green. what's green number two? That's not out of five, is it? I feel like this set green is not out of five. 
Or is it? Uh, let's find out. Um, CardboardConnection.com, Illusions Football, Reflections Duel, green is to 35. All right, so that'll be a randomizer between the Bengals, Andrew, and the Panthers, Ryan Owens. All right, so we'll set that aside over here. There's a Danian Tomlinson, Cortland Sutton to 399, Mike Evans, and there is a Packer for Johnny O. That's Dexter Williams. 170 out of 199. Christian Wilkins to 299. Miles Garrett to 399. Rookie Idols Duel. That's Miles Sanders. That's Brian Westbrook. Dual relic for Daniel and the Fly Eagles Fly. Is that number? That's not numbered, Daniel. Just FYI. All right, now the encased. Now Johnny O's all right. He's on the board. Now he just maybe some far of ink. We've got Shining Stars autograph, Brandon Cooks to 99. No, to 10. 10 out of 10, Brandon Cooks. Uh, that is for Daniel and the Rams. There you go, Daniel. All right, two to go. Oh, Johnny O, I'll tell you a funny story that I, I heard from Nick. Um, so every time I kind of make the joke, uh, you know, the joke, Brett Favre, right? Apparently, there is someone who always comments in the video, like, dude doesn't even know how to pronounce Brett Favre. Which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, of course I know how to pronounce his name. But there are like all these like wannabe wise guys on YouTube who's like, Psh, this guy. And I thought it was like, come on. Clearly I know how to, I don't know. I don't read the comments, but apparently that's what happens nearly every time. Yeah, 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 that, he was drafted with them saying the wrong, that's the whole joke. And that the V comes before the R. And then there was like, there, I think there was a bit on something of, there, something about Mary or whatever that movie was. There he is. Brett Favre. I know it's far. We've got David Montgomery, Devin Singletary, another randomizer. What's red? Red is out of 25. I guess not, Rich. I mean... The, you know, there's, I guess the people who comment on YouTube are generally 11 years old, so there's also that. At a 3.99, TJ Hawkinson. They clearly don't watch the show either. Kenny G to 3.99 and Raquel Armstead to 1.99 Jaguars. That's for Jim. Who's left? Oh, most most uh, most commenters on YouTube. The snarkier they are, the younger I think they are. There's Deontay Johnson, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Heinz Ward. Military schools need to make a comeback for the sheep, says Rich. You know what? It's funny you should say that. It's something my mom says all the time. My mom's like, because. My mom's from South Korea, and um, it's mandatory military service for for uh, for men for like a year or two, or two or three years, or something like that. 
And she's like, you know, that gets all everybody into shape. And she believes that they should do that in uh, in the United States too. And she'd be like, if everyone did military service for like a year or two, that'll whip everybody into shape. There's David Johnson to 399. Like my dad did it. Like all my cousins who still out, live out there did it. There's Dwayne Haskins. Athletes too. I and mean, sometimes the athletes can get exemptions, but like a lot of the Korean baseball players out there, you know, they'll they'll start playing in their like late teens or whatever and and then you'll lose them for a year or two and then uh and then they come back and play baseball again. Out of 50, Isaac Bruce, like, even like pop stars out there, that has happened too. Like K-pop stars, right? The guys who are in these, like, these, like, fruity K-pop bands, like, all those guys will be like, yep, got to do the military, see ya. And they'll do a couple of years and they come back and keeps everybody fit, you know, like... I had a cousin who was, uh, like, my, my mom's family's all out there. My dad's family's all out here in the United States. Um, one of my cousins on my mom's side, he was kind of a chubby kid growing up. Um, but then he did military, and then he just shaped right up. There's DK Metcalf. Nice. 48 out of 99 rookie endorsements. Autograph, and that goes to Bill. Last spot, Mojo. Johnny O says Korean golfer got out of it because he won the Players Championship. They do Koreans do love the golf. Is uh, maybe that's the same player that Doug's talking about, or maybe it's a different person who was playing well and then he had to do the service. Yeah, the exemptions are are weird. I don't know. How, I don't know how the how the exemptions work, but. All right, so you're saying Kim Soo Woo got to get out of it because he won the Players' Championship, but Doug saying Pe Sang Moon had to do it because I guess he wasn't winning tournaments. All right, there you go. Pe Sang Moon should have been better. Speaking of Korean golf, ladies and gentlemen, on the on the Korean golf tour, apparently there is someone, there was a golfer at a tournament in Korea, at a golf course in Korea. I heard this on sports radio this morning, and uh, he, someone had snapped a picture uh, on like his backswing or something. Uh, um, so someone took a picture. He got mad. He flipped off. The, the person in the in the gallery in the stand and the whatever they call that the group that follows him around banned from Korean golf um, for three years wait Johnny of that player who got banned was the money leader oh there's definitely corruption there then rigged something's rigged out there Paris Campbell to 25. Uh, Raiders ACDC asking, Hey Joe, when are you shipping out Saturdays? Breaks. <laughs> Never. Thomas, out of 399. That's that's the whole joke. We don't ship out anything. There's O'Shane Zamines. I have no idea. We, that should have been out, I don't know, probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. We just shipped out a bunch of stuff today. Post Office just picked up a bunch of stuff today right here. Wow. I, yeah, I can't believe it was three years. But I guess it was on, like, national television and stuff like that. And I don't know. Nick Bosa and Joey Bosa, 14 out of 50. That'll be a randomizer. We've got three dual randomizers going on here at the end of the break, plus the break credit. If you bought at least two teams, you're eligible for a break credit. There's Devin Singletary to 399. 
Andre Reed, Buffalo to 399. There's Marquise Brown relic, not numbered. That is for the Ravens, Jim Morin with that one. David Johnson, Shining Stars. Josh Rosen to 299. Steve Young to 50. Demarcus Lawrence, Hakeem Butler to 399. Ed Reed. Another DK Metcalf for Bill. Last spot mojo. They were just sitting there. Till the very, very end. Nobody wanted the Seahawks, Bill. 52 out of 75. Everyone said pass. That was the last team, right? Everyone passed on it. 31 teams went ahead of them. Two DK Metcalfs. All right, and the encased... Right here is, looks like an old school guy. No, it's Jakeem Grant, superlatives autograph. 15 out of 50 for the Miami Dolphins. That's going to go out to Ryan. All right, some randomizers to do. So let's pull up four lists here. There's the new dice. All right, so the first one, the Rookie Idols Duel, Nick Bosa for San Francisco, Joey Bosa for the Los Angeles Chargers. The next one was Rookie Reflections Dual Patch Autographs Red. That was David Montgomery, Chicago, Devin Singletary, Buffalo Bills. Next one was... Uh, Rookie Reflections, Dual Patch Autographs, Green, Ryan Finley for Cincinnati, and Will Greer for the Carolina Panthers. Let's sort by column A by your name and see who bought at least two teams. Chris did. That's an entry into the $75 of break credit. Daniel got, uh, Daniel got six. That'll be three entries. So two will get you one. Four teams purchased will get you two entries. Six teams purchased, three entries. Eight team purchased, four entries. So on and so forth. So three for Daniel. Jim Morin got three. Jim only two counts, so that's one entry. X-Line got two. Matt Johnston has two. So Michael Gallucci picked up eight teams, so that's four entries. Ryan Owens got three, only two count, Ryan. So that's one entry there. And so that is a one spot in 12. We'll get $75 of break credit. And one dice roll for all the randomizers. And we'll do six times. Two and a four, six. One. And team on top gets it. Two, three, Four, five, and six. Good luck. That'll go to San Francisco. That will be for the X line. So you'll get you'll get Nick instead of Joey. Well, you get both, but you you can thank Nick. There's that right there. Next one. Two and a four, six times. Chicago, Buffalo, right? Yeah, Buffalo. One, two, three, four, five, and six in final time. Good luck. After six days with Chicago, that will be for Sergio and the Bears. My kind of town Chicago is. All right, and the last one. Here, Ryan Finley, Bengals, Will Greer, Carolina Panthers. Once again, two and a four, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good luck. That flips to Cincinnati. That'll go to Andrew Herman. There you go, Andrew. And 
had the last oh vanilla grill i missed your comment i'll i'll, I'll answer that after the break uh two and a four six times one two this is for the break credit three four oh sorry There's the timestamp right here, 46 minute mark if you look if you're watching live. Sorry. 4 and then a 2. 5 and 6th and final time. After 6, Matt Johnston, $75 of break credit going your way. Congrats to you. Thanks for watching everybody. That was Illusion 7. Illusion 8 is pretty close to filling up. We could run that back tonight. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.